This conference will now be recorded. Are you all able to see the screen? Is the screen is visible? So last class we did with the different macros, entering the mark sheet, employee salary structure. So even we entered the condition. So whether the specified input is greater than or less than 20,000 then welcome. Otherwise it has to be entered a different number. So did you all practice these assignments? Any doubts in this? So we just continue today's again the other models. So I'll just take a new workbook. I'll just opening my blank workbook. From the blank workbook, I have to connect to the VB editing screen. How to enable the developer tab in Excel? to activate the developer tab. Where you can activate a developer type where you go from file menu from the file menu options customize ribbon under the customize ribbon you have to activate a developer tab how do i switch between excel web spreadsheet to vb editing screen So it is all F11. So I am in VB editing screen. How do I come back to the Excel spreadsheet screen? So you have to use same shortcut key or F11. So here I need to insert a model to enter any macros. So how do I insert the macro? From the insert menu. Click on model. So I just insert the model. So in this model, I just creating one macro. So before entering this macros in the Excel spreadsheet, we'll just create some heading. Yesterday class, we done that. So mark sheets. But each and every student, we manually calculated. So how do I calculate for all the students at a time? That is what we will do it now. I just also provide the same thing student ID, student name, again, five subjects.
seven I got student ID name. The subject one, two, three, or marks one, two, three, till five total average and grade. I will add some student ID. I just add some 15 students name. And I wanted to add a random numbers. So how do I fill the random marks? So we need to enter rand between formula. So I just entering equals rand between open bracket. So the least number, I just take the least number from 50 to 100. So here I have a formula ran between 50 to 100. So one number I got automatically that is 52. I just drag. See when I drag at right side, it is showing instead of 52, 86. When I drag again downside, so instead of 86, it's converted as 81. So in key. Uh, it should not keep on change its value. How do I make the, my value to be constant? Very good. First, we have to copy and paste as values. So now all this is become constant value. So for this, in the H column, I want a total. In the I column, I want the average. In the J column, I want the grade. So that has to be done automatically. First of all, if you create this table,
is done. All of you created. So what are the variables we have to declare? Very good. So we have to declare three variable that is total average and grade. I press Alt F11. Student record or any of the name macro name you can give. I just enter. Then total average and grade as what as what we have to define i define total as integer Average as so average sometimes it will display in decimal places. So I give as double and grade as grade will be in the format of text. It is string. I'm even defining one more variable, for example, I as long. So I variable I'm using for repeating your action for all the students. So it's called as looping. So any doubts in this line? For total is equal to two two. Cells, rows, dot count, comma, C, So I just defined that for is a looping statement I'm using from the second row. So first row it is already consists of the heading. So from the second row, from the C column till the end of the row, the statement has to be repeat. Okay, so cells. In the place of cells, you know that first you have to give the row number and then you have to give the column number. Column we directly specify to C column. But row number I don't know because it has to be till the end of first row, second row, third row, till the end of my student it has to be repeat. That is why we have taken one variable named called as row.count. It has to be repeat for all the students any doubts so next range which column you want a total i want a total in h column h and total 
is equal to worksheet function dot total means we have to use sum is a function from the range again c c col uh, column has to be repeat all my total value and till the e column not e column what is that g column and total Total is the variable name what I used here. So here we are specifying I want total to be appear in the range of H column that should be display the total value. And which value tends to be display total has to be add from the C column to G column in all the student table. Okay, in the student column or student group. So next. It has to be repeat for all student and binding up the next total. Same thing we have to do it for the average also. For average is equal to again from the second row. First row is already filled with the title. So two two cells rows dot count again the c column and excel up and row so in the next line in which range which column you require after the h I in the I column and average. So I want what average I column. The average should be repeat for all the rows. Is equal to application dot worksheet function dot average. The complete name you have to use. Open bracket again range open bracket from the C column to you should average till the A B C D E F G till the G column. And it should be display average value. So I to any when whenever we in the last class we use that if I use if condition I have to end with end if so here also if I'm using for loop condition you have to end with next so next the variable name is average Last one grade we will find for I is equal to two two cells rows dot count 
from the C column and Excela dot row. So again, same condition as today we used if range which column I I column I have an average. So I and So first what I define, this is the I for column heading and I is a variable name what I used here is greater than or equal to. The first condition 90, then the grade is equal to A grade. So again, I have a multiple condition I'm using else if. Else if range, same condition. I column and I variable is less than 90 and range i column and i variable is greater than or equal to 75 then the grade should be b So again, I'm using else if less than 75 and greater than 55. Then the grade should be B. Again, else if less than 55 and greater than 35. Then the grade should be C. Else the grade is fail. So again, whenever you're ending this, you have to end with an if. So as a user, if statement. As a user for statement, for loop statement, you have to end with next i. So before ending next i, the range in which column J column in J column I want to repeat the I value the I value is great next I See, again, I'm using a looping statement. In all the places I'm using looping statement, here I declare the looping statement for the grade is I. So from the second row till the end of the rows, how many students are there till the end of the rows? So it has to be just judge the average column. The average column is in J I column. You can see that. So average column is in I column. So I is the, what we specify, the column heading, 
and the row should be repeat. So I use I for row is greater than or equal to 90. So A grade. Else again it has to be test greater than or equal to 75. Then it is B plus grade. Greater than or equal to 55 it is B grade. Greater than or equal to 35 it is C grade. Else it is fail. So whatever the result, the result has to be displaying J column. So I just run this. Dot count and check it out. So all your total average grade is filled in a one single shot. See, I just delete it again. I come to the VB editing screen. I run this. So this is called as looping. This is makes your work faster while entering your program. So all of you enter this code and try this. Which line you are not understanding, you tell me. I just explain that particular line when I have to use that particular line.
just click uh, in the second row uh, that is uh, for total is equal to two Sveshika. So you must colon symbol, the range yet is not taken. C and total and colon G, not only G. So the first, first total range. And then try. For the total, for total is equal to two two cells, row count in the next line range H and total is equal to worksheet function dot sum range C and total and G. So before the G, you have to enter the fund colon. Here you can see in this in this area you put a colon. Then check again. And for average, average line, for average is equal to two to cells, rows dot count. You are just given as row dot count. Is then Shweshika. Same error you are getting. So where you done the mistake? Average spelling is wrong. Worksheet function dot average spelling is wrong. Now you check it out. Is all of you getting? What happened, Rashmi? Are you getting any error after writing this code? Just execute. What a shortcut key to run the project, run the macros. Sveshika, even the first line also, total is equal to two to cells rows dot count in a C column dot N Excel up. You are given as EX up. It's wrong. XL 
UP Today shortcut key to run the project. So after entering this code, just run this immediately. That will fill automatically all your total average and grade column at a time. See here. I just entered oh, delete. I just entered only serial number, the student ID, name, and five subjects. That's it. But the total average and grade has to be filled automatically with this VBA. So I just go to the VBA editing screen. I run this by pressing F5 as a shortcut key. Connect to your Excel, you can see that all your total average and grade is filled automatically. Okay. So how many of you still not at getting? What about others? Is all of you getting? Rekshita in the average column, sorry, uh, Rekshita in the average column, you are given defined total also should be displayed in H column, average also should be displayed in H column. That is wrong. Total is in H column and uh, average. average is in I column. So you have to define I for average range i and average you are given even total also in the next row that simply you copied and pasted you are not edited it the complete row only it's wrong Rest everything is correct. Check it out now. You are getting. Thank you. 
Rashmi, you are defining average as a variable name twice. Instead of average, you're supposed to give us grade. Dim total as integer, average as double, grade as a string. Again, you are given as average only. Is done, all of you completed? Any doubts in this? Rikshita. If you look the error box and then family, wait, she Now you are getting the error box. That is uh, Microsoft VBA box. Your basic error box you are getting. Runtime error. You end that, then you send it, uh, this one. Photo. Just a minute. For average function also you given as sum. So give the function as average. Range i and average is equal to worksheet function dot average you give. Then check. Again, are you getting the same error? Application defined or object defined error? Average 
have a spelling in your chat? Did you enter in stock some average? Not in both the places. For the first one, it is total sum function use. For the second one, you have to use average function. For this A grade, B grade, C grade and all, why you have put it a brockets, remove the brockets. Grade is equal to within double quotes A grade. Grade is equal to within double quotes B plus grade. No brockets for that. Check Rekshita now, it's working. Send that pick again, your screen pick. Everything is correct only. Once again, after the class, you try and enter it, okay? So in a similar way, what we done, just we enter the total average as well as a grade from the Excel spreadsheet. Sorry, from the VBA screen. I wanted to insert the complete information, everything from the VBA editing screen. So how do I do that? That we will do it now. So everything from the VBA editing screen we will enter. So first I will save this file and I will take a new workbook. So how do I save this? In which format? Very good. Macro enable XLSX format. I 
I just take a new workbook. Again, I will start this workbook with VBA coding by inserting a new mod. We'll enter the code now. So everything I just entering starting from the A1 set. So we are using one of type of loop that is do while loop. So with the help of do while loop, the same actions can be done. So in the range or the cell A1, in the A1 cell, I want to display the value as student name. In the range B1 cell, I want to display the value marks one or subject one. In the same way, in C1 cell, I want to display as subject two. In D1 cell, I want to display as subject 3. In E1 cell, I want to display as subject 4. In F1 cell, I want to display as subject 5. In the G cell, I want total and Excel, I want Percentage in I column I one cell I want grade. So if I run this, you can see that so all these information is failed. At a time, we will run the project. So next, in the next line, I just make this range to be displayed in different color. So I just use range from A12 till I1. I will display this in columns dot auto fit automatic it will fit for the contents next same range dot font dot bold is equal to true true means it will make it as bold Again, same range dot font dot color. So last class we use color index number and all. 
So I just use five is a color index number. Interior color also will fill dot interior dot color index is equal to I just give seven. So I just run this and show you where then and go to Excel. That shows in a particular specified color along with the specified text with auto fit content. See student name, percentage, it automatically fit its contents. Let's remove all this. I doubt still here. So with the help of a do while looping, I just asking the question. Based on my question, if the question is yes, that means if you type as Y. So the do while loop has to be done. So do while question is equal to yes. Then I just take as e row is a variable name. You can give any any name for the variable. I just define i as a variable in the, for the previous exam. So e row is equal to in the sheet one dot cells. Again, the same one I'm repeating rows dot count of first column dot end. So previously we used C column, but here I just starting from the beginning of the call. End Excel up. Dot offset. Offset function is used for so repeat for next to next. It means for after completing a first cell, move to the next cell. After completing a second cell, go to the third cell. So it, it is used for this movement of your information from one cell to another cell of each row. So again. So once the looping statement is completed, question is equal to application dot input box. Last class we use input box, do you remember? Input box that should display the message. Do you wish to enter data is asking you the question by displaying a message box do you wish to enter data type n to end the program or Type Y to continue. If you type Y, it will ask for the next one. Next options, what the users require. This is my statement, the message. The message what I'm given, do you wish to enter data? Type N to end the program. That means N stands for no and type by to continue. After this message, the title has to be displayed as question. So it is asking question. So any doubts in this?
So if question is equal to no, then end the program. End. That's it. So if it, if you type as no, it directly end its program. If you type as yes, then only it will continue for the next one. This is what we are given. So we'll continue. So now we're just continuing with again the same statement: total, average, and grade. Student name is equal to application dot input box. Again, I have a message. Enter the student. Name. The title should be displayed as student name. So if it is yes, it has to be asked for the next one. Student name, marks, total, grade, it has to be asked. So the next line we given as student name is equal to application dot input box i don't know what is a student name i have to enter it later so i just entering with the input box with the help of input box the input box is going to display the message enter the student name by displaying the heading called a student name. so next cells E row. We defined a variable E row, which has to be repeat in the sheet one, the entire row from the beginning of the column. From the beginning of the column, each row has to be repeat. Not the column wise, row wise it has to be repeat. That's why we given as offset row wise. So E row, comma one dot value is equal to student name so my marks is equal to at present zero my total is also at present zero and if i want to find out the marks and total for so i just using one more variable name counter so marks, I have five subjects. Five subject means from second row to sixth row. I have to enter marks from subject one to subject five. So second column, third column, fourth, fifth, sixth column, it has to be filled. So for counter is equal to two to six. It has to be repeat from second column to sixth column. Okay, so marks is equal to application dot again we are also using input box here to enter the marks enter the marks marks in five subject The message should be displayed as marks. Here also how we given for the student name, we are also giving cells. Row has to be repeat, not the column. So in the place of row, E row, I'm specifying comma counter. Counter means we use from second column to sixth column. So row also we use one variable name, even column also we use one variable name instead of you specifying the column number and row number. Is equal to marks. Next. 
message box or entered marks counter minus six six minus counter and to go so it tells that so till how many numbers you have to enter so once i provide the first number so it is tell that this is second number you're going to enter still five more to go four more to go three more to go that is the message i want to display to the message box then after displaying the marks i want a total the total is equal to total plus marks so all my marks should be the total what has to be displayed in cells again e row is a row to be repeat in the column total is in g column seventh column is equal to total. The same way percentage, the percentage as string. See, I'm defining the percentage variable name as a string. Percentage is equal to zero. The percentage should be my total value divided by five subjects that is percentage it has to be appears in the cells e row row to be repeat in the eighth column i want the value of percentage is about percentage so we defined total marks student name one percentage the last one is grade when we will declare the grade also if percentage is greater than or equal to 90 this you know then the grade should be a grade that in the particular cells zero and eight columns should be displayed if it is a grade i want to highlight my eight and nine average that is percentage as well as the grade column one dot bold is equal to true cells zero dot nine so eight column but this percentage should be displayed in bold and uh, Grade should be displayed in different color. Color we will specify font color index. Cells zero dot nine font color index. Interior color.
So if it is a grade, then I want this format. For other things, I don't want any other format things. So I just continue with else if. Else if percentage is less, sorry, greater than or equal to. Just give 75. Then the grade it is. B grade. Again, we use same thing. Just copy and paste it. Percentage is greater than or equal to 55, then B grade. Percentage is greater than or equal to 35. Then C grade. Else it is. Grade is equal to. Even you can specify the comment also. Or you can specify as fail also. I just end with if statement. This has to be displayed in the cells. Zero in the ninth column dot value is equal to grade. So as we use what statement? For loop statement. So I need to end with next. This is what we are giving. The same thing I entered with the help of loop. And I just display some messages also. What it has to be up here. If it is A grade, what it has to be done. So marks. Everything I am just written. If I run this, is asking, do you wish to enter data? Type N to end the program or y to continue if i type as n it is not going to enter anything in your excel spreadsheet if i type as y so again alt f11 run do you wish to enter the data type n to end the program or y to continue i just type as y then it is asking the question enter student name student name is the title what i'm given so for example Asha. Next, marks. Enter the marks in five subjects. So I just give the first subject marks is 90. I'm getting a message for entered marks is second, four to go. So second one you're going to enter. The four more subject you have to enter. Okay. So I just enter the second marks. Third subject you're going to enter, three more subject to go. Okay. I'll just enter some 87. The fourth subject value you're going to enter, two more to go. If you don't want that message, you can ignore it. The last subject I just entered it. So it's completed. So again, it is asking, see, as it is more than 90, the percentage is showing in a bold in letters and the grade is showing in yellow color, blue color text. Again, to enter your another student information, it is asking a question. If it is yes, it is asking the student name. Then the marks. So if I type as yes, it is going to end your program. Any doubts in this?
enter this check any doubts you have you can also ignore your message if you don't want you can also ignore the colors if you don't want After this, I take coordinates. That line you re enter DP range open bracket A1 colon I1 dot font dot bold is equal to true. Re enter, otherwise, you ignore it. Put it as one single code before that. So offset function tells that how you wanted to repeat loop your statement whether row wise or column wise. So as is given row wise that is one by one row. If you want to jump for two two rows, you can specify the number of rows. With the help of this question, we are going to run this looping. We okay, put one single code before that uh, line and then run. Had you entered all this code in a new sheet only, 
new workbook. Okay. When you put single code for those two also, font as well as interior color index. So that means you will not get that color. The plain text will appear. Right. Any doubts? It's correct on the question. What is the error you are getting? Application defender of the second error. When the question box appears, you have to enter N. If you type N, it will just ignore your message. It will not continue. If you type Y, so try for both by typing N and as well as Y. So first you type for N. N will just uh, close your uh, looping. So if you type Y, that continues entering the student name, five subject marks, and it will fill automatically total average and grade.
Let me run the code again and check it out. Which the last program also it was not run me in your system, right? After continue, just put a double quote, Shweshika. Do you wish to enter data? Type N to end the program or Y to continue. After continue, put double quotes. Close the double quotes. Rashmi, are you getting? Rashmi application spelling you check. You are not started for loop only, but you are ending with next. This missed one line you see before if percentage is greater or equal to 90. About that. Is below marks below zero at not you didn't enter. And three lines you skipped. Just check it out. Is this Shweshika? From here you check. So many lines must was this. Ma'am, I'm Rashmi, ma'am. I have a doubt. 
uh, after you enter the data for one row, uh, will mm -hmm. it automatically go to the next row or should you manually? Do you have to manually go for the next row. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. If it is a continuous row, you don't need to go for next row. It will go automatically. Okay, ma'am. On typing the code in the same line, it will go for the next line automatically. You are asking after run the program or what? Yes, ma'am. After running the program. After running the program, first we'll ask for the first line. For the second line, again the question will repeat. Okay, ma'am. See, I just run this. So, do you wish to enter the data? Type N to end the program or Y to continue. I just type as Y to continue. So when I type as Y, it is asking the student name. It is give student name is Geeta. It is asking the marks. So all five marks are entered. So it is completed. It is again asking the next line question. The questions will keep on repeats. If I type as N, that is no, then the program will end. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Neha, check the column headings, the numbers, what you specified, range, what you specified. I just entered every place. This is one starting from one. And only for the counter, it is two to six. The answers to be displayed, seventh, eighth, and ninth column. Check the numbers, column numbers. It's very important. Where it has to be up here, the column number is very important. Is all of you getting? Just keep entering this and just take the attendance of place. All of you unmute your mic and answer. Amina, Shruti Varma, Hashita, Anushka, Parin. Rashmi B. Present. 
Albina, Albina Sneha. Rekshita. Present, ma'am. Chandini. Vinesha Shri. Deepriyas. Present, ma'am. Vaishnavi K. Present, ma'am. Niranjana. Vinsha. Present, ma'am. Vidya Gavar. Present, ma'am. Bangi Priya. Present, ma'am. Jovita. Present, ma'am. Chaitra Chandan. Present, ma'am. Isha. Ashwini, yes. Present, ma'am. Shweshika. Present, ma'am. Neha Shashi Kumar. Present, ma'am. Sunayana. Present, ma'am. Vinisha Vinod. Nikita. Present, ma'am. Arti. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Rukia. Rukia. Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Oh. Okay. So, all of you getting it? Any doubts? Sneha, you are getting? What's the error? What about others? Is all of you getting? Send one photo in the group. I just check it out once. What happened, Shweshika? You entered the remaining lines which you missed. These many lines you missed. Did you enter all these lines? Shweshika. Object required. Click OK. Runtime error object required. Click OK. Which line you are getting error? You check.
So everything is correct. Sneha, I think uh, the previous workbook only you are using. So take a fresh workbook or just clear all. Then you try again. Select everything, use clear all. Then you try Sneha once. Swishika, if you run this program again, you are getting the same error. Any error you are getting? The same error what you sent you are getting. This is what the error you are getting as runtime error you are getting. You miss the sheet number once you check the sheet number. E row is equal to sheet one you give. Sweshika sheet one you give. And then run and check it out. Yeah, in the question, question is equal to yes, do while question is equal to y, e row is equal to sheet one you give, you are not given sheet one.
Now it's working. Again, same error. Are you getting the same error? Sure. Once you try again, if not, you just text me again. So all of you try this. So the last program, we will do it with the help of user form tomorrow and we'll complete it with the financial functions. Okay, I will share the financial function workbook tomorrow. The financial functions and we be both we will complete it. The last class we will keep for the revision class. Okay. We'll wind up today's class. Any doubts, you can just text in the group. Thank you everyone, we will wind up and tomorrow we will continue.